Narud is an ancient creature of vast power. He waits for you in the bowels of this place. One of you will die. Make sure it's that son of a bitch. The Zerg have breached the Sanctum! Protoss. Narud has held these down that evening to reserve. They are his best troops. The final battle is near. A shame. This Alterolisk might have been useful. Organism Stukov misunderstands. Death irrelevant. Only essence important. <laughs> Okay, what? Ultralisk reconstituted. Ultimate expression of swarm evolution. We need to secure a location for our hive cluster. Then, we deal with Narud. Not essence, it's fucking magic. That's what it is. Clear away these fanatics. The present. Oh, yeah. The swarm conquers all. So we have, um, Terrigan. We have a whole bunch of characters now. We're practically shitting heroes. I just wanna, I wanna give them, like, maximum heals before, uh, the next part here. Why would Narud build this lab on top of a Zelnaga temple? You know nothing of the Zelnaga. Narud is driving a null zone towards you. It will kill you on contact. Temples are amplifying his power. Stukov, go to the temples and destroy them. I thought you'd never ask. Like a null zone? Like seriously? Like fucking who writes this shit? Anyways. Uh, hi. Uh, go make ex extractors. They're gonna come in handy. And uh, come come down here for a minute. The first temple is located here. Now let's go destroy it. Be quick about it. The null zone is pushing toward me. Uh, it's important note about um, Stukov is um, his abilities are basically he has this basically it's the equivalent of uh, uh, Kerrigan's Psy, whatever ability that you keep seeing me use, and also uh, spawn infested Terrans. So they're both very useful uh, abilities, and uh, I guess we'll just move up and, uh, well, we don't really need to move, well, we'll we can go down here, because we, we got lots of time, so don't really worry about it. This gas also. Stukov, I sense crystals, which Nerud is using to store raw psionic energy. Yes, their energy is faint. Eden need the temples. If time permits, we will find them and destroy them. Like that? Okay. Move quickly. There's also gas all over the place. Uh, go grab that if you have time. And let's go make a base all the way down here, because we are really short on money, believe it or not. In this mission particularly, it's just... You, you, you can't spare any money. Also, he has this passive ability to basically regenerate everyone around him. It's not quite as good as Kerrigan's uh, regeneration stuff, but you know. Uh, also, I'm going to make this interesting. Not going to Roach Hydra. I'm just going to Hydra Ult Ultralisk because you guys are um, probably getting bored of the same strategy. I can't help it that it's that effective, and I'm just going to go snipe up these guys. And there's no, there's absolutely no 
uh, cost of this shit. It's just, it's free. So I might as well just go use it and kill everything. I hear you. And kill that guy. So what I like to do is I like to make a bunch of units, obviously. Uh, we, we all like that. Uh, and also uh, make some drones. There we go. Uh, I think actually I can spare a couple... Uh, no, not that many. That many. That will do. Okay. Uh, we can also make some more Ultralisks now. Uh, unfortunately, I, I am running out of resources, which is why we're, we, this is why we went for such an early expo. It's actually not that important here to get those early Ultralisks, so we can actually just continue Please on our merry way list. here. Uh, and this is why I'm just continuing to snipe this, this crap out, because this ability will allow me to do that. Okay, so let's finish up here. I am channeling psionic energy into this temple, but it will take time. You dare defile the shrines of our god? We shall strike you down! I must focus, but I can still use my powers for the fight. Ultros are also very good at, uh, whoops. Remain alert. The hybrid approaches. Yeah, hybrids come and they just kind of chill out. They, they want to hang out, talk, and, uh, you know, tell stories. Oh, you got ultralisks now. You need something? I can use corrosive blast to eat through the armor of this hybrid. First temple is the active. Excellent work, Stukov. I can feel the root strength slipping. Success, but only for a moment. We must disable the other temples. Please assure. So we got one, and there's like one, two, three, and four. And there's those little pylon things all over the place. Uh oh. Destroy their hive! She cannot survive alone. She certainly can. All right, let's go make a bunch more drones here, and also get some more ultralisks out. And look, look how much money that costs. It costs a lot of money, but fortunately enough for me, I should go actually go make a one of these. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll research twice as fast if I make two. So there you go. Uh, gonna need some overlords. I'm just gonna wait for all these ultralisks to come out. I'm just gonna be very ca cautious because there are some uh, there's some bases nearby as well. You have to kind of be careful about that. Wow, I got a lot of workers here. Eh, hey, whatever. It's part of the reason I went for the gas so early. It's because you you kind of have barely enough, especially if you're playing the way I, I'm playing. Oh wow, look at that, delicious. All right. Our victory is assured. I'm gonna need another hatchery actually. Go bring two back, or four back. That's that's a good number too. Keep your mind clear. All right, move quickly. We're heading over here, and we're going to take out this this base here. Yes, I see. So the the infested turns kind of are nice as a as a temporary distraction kind of a thing. That's why I like using them for. You will lose uh, guys eventually, and obviously you do roach hide. You can do roach hide with this entire damn campaign and win. So you know. That should that much should be obvious. None challenge the master. Destroy the Protoss quickly. The hybrid approach. And they have scales. Strike the hive while they are in disarray. I like to target the shuttles. Because the shut that I don't have any anti-air. Okay, okay, move everyone here. And now surround the hybrid. Uh-oh. Alright, let's move these guys over here. And the hybrid is right over there. So let's let's move him into range and Stukov's ability. Yeah, that was another one by the way. The second temple has fallen. Screw them all you like. You will not escape your fate. And of course he gets his little Cackling in, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, well, let's go make some more hydras and some ultralisks. Okay, 
we're in good shape. We're just gonna wait for the for the next time, to, next one to respawn, and uh, we'll either go here or here or something. I don't know. Probably probably up, just so we don't have to ever come down the other way again. And you know, we have a lot of guys here, so let's go make some sunkins here, just so we we can at least delay them. It, it wouldn't be unreasonable for me to leave a couple of like ultralisks here. But, uh, I don't know. I'm lazy. Oh, here we go. Some more guys. I think I might do that, actually. Just, uh, a couple of the ultra... Those two can stay. So you guys will defend over here. Uh, except for the fact that they're not doing properly. Okay, go ahead. And so they have this little beam here. That's the null zone. Fucking... Like, who comes up with these names? Like, seriously. Okay, we're gonna go... Use our little beam thing. Same, the same logic applies, and uh, move your guys out of the side storms because hydras are very susceptible to that. Uh oh. Forward. The ultralists may not be able to get this. Yes, I see. There we go. And I probably should research this crap just like I said I would. And keep this creep thing, creep tumors uh, spawning. Uh, it's really, you know, I think this goes for the entire campaign. Spam one unit, win. That's it. It, it doesn't matter if, like, it's just, it doesn't matter if you lose your entire army. It, it, nobody cares. So, uh, the great thing about Colossus is they're wasting all their shots on my Ultralisk, so. They're, they've become that much easier to take down. And we're gonna make a bunch more, uh... Oh wait, we have to spawn more overlords, so let's do that. It must not fall. Finish the Taldarim. Several hybrids are on their way. Taldarim are... They're, they're like, they're like now the comic book Protoss villains, too. They're terrible. I have a friend who really likes the the Protoss, and he's like, he's like, they're like clowns now. It's like the Taldarim this. They're like a minor annoyance. Actually, now everyone come back up here. There we go. And we're all done with that. We deactivated the third temple. Two temples remain. He's growing weaker. Keep fighting! No. No! Done. No, I, I bet I bet Blizzard would like yes, make him I seem see. more evil by like, like making him eat some babies. It's like delicious babies. Or, or whatever it is Duran accent. Do not touch the artifacts of the master! And yeah, we get another level up. Glad Duran has time for this. Yeah, let's make some more ultralisks because we simply don't have enough. And now, and now you run into that problem, which I was talking about before. Is you, you know, no matter how much I try, uh, I'll still run out of resources. However, we have a bunch of ultralisks here, ready and waiting. A lot of them, actually, I should mention. Uh, actually, everyone just should move over here. And just be one giant happy family. There we go. Alright. And now we're gonna go attack the next uh, one in line. The, the hardest one is probably this one. Um, but I think it just goes by whatever order you decide to do everything in. Fortunately, my Hydra's ended up in front, so... Get rid of these Protoss now. The hybrids are on their way. Man, these Protoss are so annoying. Oh, there's a hybrid right there. And everyone's just gonna take him down. 
This is that's why I have the the Hydra still. It's because they're good for DPS. Wow, there's like three of them. I'm I'm so I'm so glad they have like time to talk. Destroy the hive. Oh, it's, it's, it's a thing right here. I think they're attacking me now. The ultralist are just here to delay. While I bring it, while I bring my main force in. Do I have no more? Oh, there we go. There's the rest of my guys. I'm gonna want some more Hydralists, probably. We go get as many as I can get. As I said, this is the one reason... This is the one reason I'd say, like, don't do... Uh... Because uh, Ultras are so gas-intensive. But I made it work, so I decided to, to show you it anyways. I mean, I pretty much rolled the map here. You only get like a hundred too. Especially since they have void rays. Void rays are very effective against things that have armor. This poor Protoss. The crystals have been shattered. Their power belongs to the swarm now. Mineral field depleted. That doesn't even make sense. How does it belong to how does the power belong to the swarm now? Alright, let's bring drones in. Just to troll. All right. Uh, we can we can start the attack. So this one has void rays and some other shit. Problem. The biggest problem is actually getting in here. These things do massive amounts of damage, but we're good now. So let's just finish it up. Defend the temple. Lay waste to these abominations. Aha. This is our final battle. I, I don't have enough range to, for that, so I'll just move it up there. Looks like they're attacking me anyways. But it's over anyways. Holy jeez. Yeah, we don't really care about our base anymore. This is already done. No, it cannot be. Your temples are gone. Zone has left Narut weakened, vulnerable. Even so, he's the most powerful being I've ever faced. What will you do? Kill him. Face me, rude. It's over. It is only beginning. Amon whispered of this from the stars. He told you of his return. He told you of ruin, extinction, the end of all things. Your god is dead, and he's never coming back. Is that what you think?
Now, when you're fighting a ship sh shapeshifter, you might as well, you know, come somewhat prepared that they're going to change shapes occasionally, and not be surprised and vulnerable every single like every single time. Fuck. Whatever. Okay, so we completed it. We didn't let Stukov die, and we killed two hybrid within 20 seconds of each other. Yeah, go us. My queen, can you hear me? We dragged you back to the Leviathan. Rest now. I will control the swarm until you are healed. Why aren't you trying to... Take the swarm for my own? Because I still have much to learn from you, my queen. Enough. She is healing, but she must rest now. Narod is dead, and the hybrid lab is destroyed. I am the final loose end. I suppose you kill me now. If you want to leave, I won't stop you. <laughs> Where would I go? Half man, half zerg. A monster. I understand. Believe me. Stay with the swarm, and perhaps the way will become clear. If nothing else, it will be interesting. Uh, whatever. It's like, I suppose you will kill me now. He's like emo. The swarm was once Amon's tool. He will seek to use us again. I will prepare for his coming, but not until I'm done with Minsk. Of course, my queen. Once Jim is safe, I will come for you, Minsk. And you won't have any hybrid to protect you. Hey, Ultra's Mutation. Cool. So we can either have a Burrow Charge, which is the new thing he gets in uh, uh, multiplayer. I I'm not sure that would have even stood a chance against the Ultra, even if he didn't have this. Uh, we also gain 40% of all life. Uh, all da well, 40 equal to 40% of all damage dealt from normal attacks. That's kind of nice. So he's like healing as he attacks. I wouldn't mind that. Or you can put game plus 20 splash damage. Uh, that also might be kind of nice. Yeah. Took this because I like survivability. Then I don't have to remake them as much. Okay. Uh, that's it for that area. Let's see what Kerrigan has for upgrades. Damn. One point away. 
that's a shame. All right, let's travel. Isha, take the Leviathan up. We're leaving. Kerrigan, you saw something in that lab. In Narud's mind. I saw Amon. Older than the universe, more powerful than I can understand. And now he's alive again. Then he shall fall before the swarm, like all the rest. We don't even know where he is. We must prepare for his coming. But I have a few scores to settle first. At your orders, we will move our Leviathan into Dominion space and begin searching for the Terran ship Hyperion. You wish their help in finding the Terran Jim Rayner. Valerian, we're picking up some kind of reading. Warning. Psionic waveform detected. Scale. Unclassifiable. Kerrigan. What happened to you? How? There's no time. Listen carefully. Jim is alive and I can't find him. But you can. Hack the Dominion network and figure out where they're holding him. How can we trust her? Valerian, if there's even a chance that Jim is alive, I'm going after him. Hacking the Dominion security network will prove difficult. Only one man can hack that network. Colonel Orlin. And he's being held prisoner by... Mira Han. The mercenary leader. Isn't she a friend of yours? Not exactly. It's complicated. Let's just get this done. Find him, Matt. We both owe it to him. A cool space. We have arrived in Dominion space. Should we move on Core Hall? Not yet. I have to deal with something first. Will this give us some special advantage, my queen? Should Abathur be ready for new essence? Silence, Isha. This is a personal matter. It will end badly, but I must see it through. When I see the stars arrayed before me like this, I think of Earth. I remember its green hills. You can't go home again. I know. I have no place on Earth now. I mean, I won't let you. Your return would be noticed by the government of Earth. They might consider another expedition to our little corner of space. They will come back someday, you know. I do. And I will be ready for them. Why are you so obsessed with collecting essence? It will mean survival. Because new essence makes you powerful? Power will be a trap. The Buck leaders fell to this. If it's not power, what is it you get from essence? Essence is change. Change is survival. Collect and live. Stay still. And die. Is it possible for the swarm to hack into the Dominion's network? Terran systems inelegant. Problem with interchange. Many factors obstruct request. Biology. Language. So our thoughts are too different for anything beyond simple transmissions. Accurate. Zerg processes complex. Incompatible with Terran machinery. Then it's up to Valerian now. Well, that's all the dialogue we have, so uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.